Hi everyone, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be going over while loops. So we're going to go over two flavors. We're going to go over the regular while loop and then over the, the, uh, the do while loop, and we'll see the differences between them. So let's go ahead and open up our example. In this case, it will be cf while loops.cpp. And we'll get down to the interesting part. So when we talked about for loops in the previous video, uh, you know, we saw that we can do you know, successive addition from multiplication uh, using these looping constructs. So we'll, we'll continue in that same vein and show that C++ has a lot of different ways that you can do things. So we'll do that same, uh, we'll, we'll solve that same problem using a different construct, this time a while loop. Now in this case, it's the same five times 10 but in this case, we're going to use a while loop. And a while loop only has one part to it. So while for loops, you know, we initialized a variable, we had a condition check, and then we had, say, an increment, uh, which could also be a decrement if we wanted to, but we used an increment. The while loop is kind of like an if statement. We're just testing a condition. So in this case, we're just checking if the multiplier is greater than zero. So we're doing five times 10, and we want to check how many times we've done it so far. And so within the while loop, what do we do? We do the same thing that we did in the for loop where we do this addition. So we do this plus equals. Remember, this is the same thing as saying product is equal to product plus multiple can, but we can shorten it with this plus equals. And then we're doing uh, kind of like we did in the for loop that increment with the two plus signs. We're doing a decrement this time. So we're taking multiplier, and we're, when we do these two subtract signs, this says take multiplier and make it equal to multiplier minus one. So this is exactly the same as multiplier is equal to multiplier minus one. But we, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner just to write the decrement sign. So what should happen here? So every time we go through the loop, multiplier will go down by one, and as long as it's greater than zero, we'll keep adding. So it should go 10, then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On the last iteration, it will go to zero. We'll test this while condition, and then we won't execute the loop because this condition will now be false. Zero will not be greater than zero. And then we'll print out what the multiplier is. We'll expect it to be zero, and then we'll go over to the product and we'll expect it to be 50, so five times 10. Now, the other kind of while loop is a do while loop. So in this case, uh, the way that it differs is that a do while loop will always execute at least one iteration. So it could do as many, uh, it could do you know as many iterations as a while loop but it will always do at least one iteration, hence why it's a do while loop. So it will do an iteration and then it will do the condition check. So in this case, we'll reset the product from 50 back to zero. And then what we'll do is this product plus equals multiple canned, just like in the other while loop. And then we'll do this condition check. But notice we didn't reset what the multiplier was. So the multiplier is still zero. So this is a case where we have to be careful so do, do while loops can get you into a little bit of trouble because if say, you know, you don't reset your multiplier like we didn't do in this case, we'll execute an invalid loop iteration. So this, uh, this condition, this multiplier is greater than zero. This will not be met for the first iteration. Multiplier will be equal to zero. So what we should get down here is the multiplier will be equal to negative one now. And that's because we'll decrement on that first iteration from zero to negative one. And, but we will get a product of five. So it will do that first iteration of successive addition. But once we get to that while loop, it'll check the condition and it'll say, wait, you know, I've already passed, so I'm not going to do any more. So we'll stop at one iteration for this do while loop. So let's go ahead and execute the code. So first we of course have to compile it, dash O C F while loops.cpp or while loops. And then we'll input 
our while loops.cpp file. No compile errors. And then we'll go ahead and execute the code. And we see we get what we expected. So for the first while loop, um, we decrement the multiplier all the way down to zero and our product is 50. We reset the product after that. And we see that that do while loop, unlike the while loop, which wouldn't have executed if we had done another while loop instead of a do while loop, it wouldn't have executed anything and multiplier would be zero and product would be zero because a do while loop will always execute at least one iteration. It will decrement multiplier to negative one and it will add five to product. So while loops are important if we want to, uh, we could have a while loop that runs forever. So say we have some system that's out there and we want it to continuously monitor something. Well, we can't really say, we can't really use a for loop and say, do it for infinite times. Uh, we could, but it's a lot easier to just say with a while loop, it's a lot easier to just put that construct in there. And sometimes we maybe always wanna test something at least one time and then maybe continue on if that test is true. So we can conveniently do that with a, uh, a do while loop. Now, all of this code is of course always available at the, oh, that's off screen, there we go. So all this code is always available at the Coffee Before Arch GitHub page under Fundamental Concepts. So if you go down here though, just to the README, there's this table with links to all the YouTube videos on the left, the concepts covered in those YouTube videos, and then the code relating to those videos. So in this case, it was control flow while loops. And if we go there, we see the code that we showed off here. So feel free to download this and play with it for yourself. As always, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch and I hope you have a nice day.